Hi everyone, it's GBGW time with Andrea, and for today's video I'm just kind of going to try to figure my way around the situation I'm in right now. Um, so, I don't know if you remember the video of me drawing on the Sokai yesterday. I got a couple cool parts that got me really excited about, um, about using Ace Exclusive. And I just wanted to show you what I've been playing around with. I did go and use the, you know, when you do it, it lets you do this whole, um, and watch this hang. This is the most ridiculous part about this game. It's so wonderful having it. But anybody in the middle of this, like right above my T guard guide right there, anybody in there is impossible to reach. Anyway, so I got a a guaranteed four star part and like the ticket to go and buy from the four star shop place. Did I just really erase over what I oh my gosh, did I really just do that? Ugh. Cancel. What is going on? I really hate how slow this loads. Yes, I did. That was really smart. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this by hand. So um, um, let me just, let's see, lock on is one of them. Anyway, so actually I'm going to pause this. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is what I ended up doing. I, in the, um, in that capsule, I ended up drawing the bazooka. Oops, not this one. I drew a bazooka. And allow me to show you which one it was. Actually, it was a number four store, four star. Um, was it the rocket launch? No, it was like, th oh, the hyper bazooka. I drew the hyper bazooka. And I thought that was pretty cool, right? Um, but anyway, it got me interested in looking into getting Ace Exclusive as a, as a tag, right? And then I also wanted to get not just Ace Exclusive, but another awesome tag, like high firepower or long range or something like that. So what I ended up doing was going and buying the Big Beam Bazooka from the store. And um, and then I it was funny because we while people in my Discord channel were actually chatting about this while I was doing it. You know, they're like, you should do this one, you should do that one. Anyway, and I also got the V2 Gundam head. And because it has Ace Exclusive and High Firepower. Now here's my dilemma. Um, so let me show you really fast. I get I've got high firepower from the legs. Um, well, you can just look at my tags right here. So a lot of these are not the best shot attack. So my Shenlong, these legs won't be as powerful as my Gundam X, even fully maxed out. See, 537. My Gundam X legs were, um, Gundam X right here. I mean, oh, 537, maybe they would be, um, Okay, anyway, not as powerful as, um, I don't know what I was thinking of. Oh, no, this is what I was thinking of. The Banshee. Okay, so the Banshee back is pretty awesome, honestly. But I think it would be better for, I don't know, somebody else who does not have the Wing Zero back. So you saw that, that was a 1,000. The Wing Zero, these beautiful things right here that I love so much. I mean... Look at the shot attack, 1990, and they're currently at 1910. I mean, it's going to be so hard to overcome that, you know? And I'm, I am mourning, I've been mourning, you can ask poor Lyconius, I've been mourning the loss of my back, you know, not being able to do that. But I want to be able to use my crossbone body because everybody knows that this, this skill right here is absolutely insane. Like, I can usually kill horrible bosses with one or two shots, three shots. I mean, you've seen one shot, regular people, two, three shots, bad guys, you know, the big ones. And so I'm really torn on this. I've got, but it's awesome though, because I do have ace exclusive and high firepower. Ace exclusive is 10% to shot attack. High firepower is 5%. So when I have these fully maxed out, then in theory, you know, I mean, not in theory, it's, it's all math, it's proven. Um, I will get 10% on top of that. Now you ask me, why, Andrea, have you not finished upgrading these? Because look at my capital. I freaking ran out of capital. <laughs> Never thought that was possible. Here, let's go ahead and upgrade them a little bit more. Might as well, right? Oh, I've actually got a little bit of capital. Ah, nope, can't go that far. It's freaking ridiculous running out of capital. I can't believe I actually had it happen. So let's go ahead and upgrade them. Ugh, I can't believe it. I had like millions and millions of capital. And then I look and it's like all gone. And I was because of the project I was doing the other day. I told you about one of my videos I was going through and 
and t I want to make sure I've got one of everything and I will do that again but next time I will pay I wasn't even paying attention to my capital next time I'll pay attention to my capital and make sure I always have like five million on hand I'm a hoarder okay I like saving money and stuff <laughs> anyway so where are all my abilities beam gun flight unit and we'll do the big bazooka the flight unit on this one does you know raise the attack of your squad by 20 percent but again it's not I mean my my point blank in the in the Xeon head and then the wings, you know, the ability in the wings, they both raised two different things for the squad. Anyway, so so I've got the the um is technique attribute. And once these are fully upgraded, right, the 10% will be on top of those fully upgraded. Um and as you can see, like this one right here, the dead and G. The reason I've got it is because it's got both, okay? And um the reason I'm using this shield, Johnny Ridden shield, is because it's got the Ace exclusive tag, and it's the only one. And like I said, I am, I'm sorry. You guys can probably say I'm, I'm an idiot or foolish or whatever. I am not willing to get rid of my crossbone gun body piece. Like, I, you watch my videos. If you watch my videos, you know how much I rely on that thing. Okay, here's the other thing about this. So, lock on Stratos. Um, okay, so let's just go to the next page. I've been skipping past it. This one right here. With technique attribute, which I have, shooting power is boosted 17%. That's that's pretty awesome, right? That adds an additional, I don't know what was, Lyconius did the math for me, like three or 400 on top of whatever I had already. Um, with technique attribute, 8% chance not, re not to recoil. And then this one's got, you know, something cool. Technique attribute, long shot attack raise 8%. So these are good benefit, good beneficial things, right? So the thing I have to decide is, is it worth it? The shot attack is 15,653. I figured out once these are fully upgraded, it adds, once these parts right here are fully upgraded, it adds an additional 3,631 and 15% on top of that. You can do the math. I don't feel like doing the math. But is it going to be worth it in the end? That's the question. So is it going to be worth it to miss, you know, to lose out on the freaking high shot attack that comes from... And by the way, guys, come on. This is all relative. I know a lot of my viewers have really insane shot attacks like 20,000 and 22,000. I'm not looking at you iniquity because I've mentioned you too many times in my videos, <laughs> but seriously. So this is for me. Okay. This is my situation. I'm trying to figure out what's best for my current situation. So what I need to do, and you can see, I've already got, um, my, my head up there already has a, a pink mark on it. My Penelope once had green. The Banshee already had a pink on it. I need to get a pink on this Big Beam Bazooka. But, you know, I'm like, I'm I am mourning. I really am mourning. Like all my favorite shot, or shot attack parts, you know, 5,000. My regular Bazooka is 5,500. But the thing with this one, actually, I'll just show you that. I'm going to go play a level um, arena or something, and I'll just show you how it goes. But, um, and a lot of this, like, you're not going to see this until you're actually playing the game. And so it's not going to even be noticeable until we're playing. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do, um, two multi missions, just me going up against, um, uh, whatchamacallit up against, um, the second hardest level, not the hardest one, because the hardest one I can't beat on my own, regardless of how awesome my, my person is. And we're going to do one with lock ons build with the technique attributes, the ACE exclusive, the, all of that. And, um, I want you guys to help me decide Actually, you know what? Let's make this go faster. I'm going to take this one right here and turn this one into um, my regular chick, um, Haman. So load, yes. And then, I'm sorry, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to put the crossbone back on here for a minute because, oh my freaking gosh, does anybody else just go crazy with how much of a waste of time this is sometimes. And I do need to, actually, I should have two shot attacks. Oh, uh, yep. You ain't going to have that. Why on earth would should have died have that? Should have died does not need that. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a loadout. We're going to do register loadout because I stupidly, this is me trying to get it to go down and it went back to the top because it hates me. Guys, this hates me. Does it hang here for you guys? Cancel. It hangs. It's got to hang on these for other people too, not just me. Yes. And increase loadout spots. Not going to do that. Can you imagine how horrible this thing would load if I didn't have? 
I need to just go and erase the other ones and just rearrange things. But okay, so let's go ahead and go and see how this would look with um, lock on first. We're going to just go into the multi missions if it'll load. And let's see. Oh, his color scheme. Um, by the way, those, what were they? The X. We're going to create room. We're going to do set a password because I don't want anybody bothering me. No offense, anybody. Um, the back, what are they called? Gundam X? I don't know if that's what they're called, but did I pick the right guy? Yes, I did. Those are my Penelope arms. Anyway, um, yeah, the, um, the bat wings, oh, they're so awesome looking. Oh my gosh. Aesthetically, they're not super freaking powerful, but aesthetically they are super awesome looking. So I'm excited about those ones. They're on my upgrade unit who, you know, I use when I'm doing daily missions and free missions, etc. things like that. When I just need to run through stuff without going for a bonus just to get them to upgrade. Okay. So things I'm noticing about this gun already. So first off, it doesn't have as far of a range with my other bazooka. I could be like right here and still be in target. So it does have pretty awesome stats. Um, Let's see, we're going to go for, um, come on, really, really like the very last one. I just want to come in order. So I'm just showing you how it shoots. Um, it does drop down, um, you know, like bazookas do. Let me show you what the, really? I'm holding it. Of course, somebody's shooting me. So I'm not going to, okay, let's see if they'll leave me alone. Nope. What the heck? Why did it, it like totally backed out? That's annoying. Okay. We'll go, we'll do the test in just a minute. As soon as, cause now that I've triggered them all, um, here, let's do the ability big beam bazooka. See, that's pretty awesome. That's way too much firepower for what I was doing. I'm just inching. I'm trying to give a good test here. Is it going to work this time? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So, Things about it, things I've noticed about this thing. So I was going to show you in here, but there we go. Now I can, I can show you better. So see, I'm still not very good at zooming. Okay. So, but watch this. So what I'm trying to say is it actually loads faster between them than my last one did. And see that empty and it's already loaded. You saw how fast that was. So like this one actually shoots faster than my last bazooka and it loads faster when it's empty. And we were like trying to figure out if I had something that made it so that it was, I mean, look at that. Look how much faster this loads. So I'm wondering, I mean, honestly, I'm, I think that it might actually be worth it over my other one, even though the other one had 500 shot attack, you know, okay, where is he? He's right there. Nope. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Just die. Just die. Thank you. Um, my other one had, um, more power, but I, it shot slower. And so see this one, it just, and it, it's just more responsive. Like I appreciate it anyway. Okay. So that's this guy. Um, that's how this one looks with the shot attack and all of that. Um, we are going to, Oh, dang it. That was silly. Okay. I am going to go ahead and do one with Haman. And then actually we'll do one more with lock on because lock on, I was showing you all the different things. So I'm just going to go in there and just, you know, guns blazing, attack fast, get as much done as, as fast as possible. So we'll go ahead and create it again. Lock on, ready to sort, ready to sortie, sortie, and it's loading. So we're going to go in here with lock on first. And I'm just going to go, like I said, I'm going to go around, shoot really fast. And we're just going to see if that additional 17%, which by the way, I mean, that was adding benefit, obviously. So we're just going to see if that makes a difference, if it's any better than, um, common. And this level's not hard enough quite to tell, but I don't feel like dying right now. <laughs> so anyway, so let's go ahead and just see how much, um, damage I can get done, how fast I can shoot. Um, I still do a lot of dancing around while I'm shooting. Come on. Still not quite triggering the button. Sometimes it's like really hypersensitive and it's just really frustrating. So, I mean, even the ones, oh, yep, too far away. Even the ones that are 
are technically, oh, there we go, that are technically, um, in, see, I double tap and sometimes it doesn't do anything. Eh, and I killed them anyway. Shot, 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 shot. See, recoiling is not doing anything. I mean, what the heck is going on? Did you see that? Empty. There we go. And he's too far away. Oh, no, I got him. That was cool. The trigger wasn't even on him. I mean, the target. Let's see how far away I can be. Nope. <clears throat> so, like I said, it does load faster. Um, did the recoil, though. The guy was shooting me and nothing was happened. I Maybe you guys saw that, me trying to shoot him. This is going to be fun. I'm right next to the guy. Change target. And done. Yep, he had no chance. To, no chance. No chance whatsoever. Okay, so what are your guys' thoughts so far with this? I mean, worth it? Not worth it? Um, let's go see how Haman does it. I mean, honestly, this is not the best test because, like I said, it's way too... It's too easy, but I can't do the other one without help from somebody. And I really just don't feel like dealing with waiting for somebody to join me and then having it crash. Oh, and by the way, did you notice it didn't crash on me? Uh, so freaking annoying. <laughs> I'm still very annoyed. I guess I could have done a hard level or something, but let's go here. We're going to go give Haman the um, crossbone chest. Make sure all of her abilities are where I want them to be and go back to mission and we're going to go into the multi-mission. We're going to do the same exact multi-mission if it'll load and create uh, what the crap slide. Thank you. Create, create. I really am more comfortable with Haman too. Well, just her abilities. I mean, obviously the pilot doesn't really matter. It's, they're both long sorters. It's not like I'm going to notice a huge difference between the two of them, but I am more familiar with the equipment, you know, the Xeon head, the wings. Um, I love my new shield. I haven't had it for very long. And of course the chest part, but if, I can use that on the other ones. So that's okay. But, um, yeah, these wings and my bazooka. I mean, these are things that I've been using for so long that it comes more naturally to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and see, and let's actually see if my theory about shooting about shooting slower is accurate. Because, I mean, for all I know, we're, I'm just drugged or drunk or something. It's actually feeling like it's shooting pretty quickly right now. Yep, it does take longer to reload. So, it does take longer to reload. That's that's okay. Um, empty, reload, reload. Yeah, see, look at that. It takes much longer to reload. I do love being able to do area damage. That didn't really do anything. These ones, I mean, you see the abilities, the EX, I mean, it's different looking. So... Um, I, I, this game is so pretty though. You guys know that you guys know, I, I like the, the prettiness of this. So what are your thoughts? How are you guys feeling so far? How does this compare to lock on build? So is it worth it? Um, oh, that's funny. Um, well, hmm. Well, this is so far not going as good as it could have gone. <laughs> um, so the chance to not recoil, uh, that was a thing there because I did recoil more with him. And again, seriously, it does. It just takes so much longer to, for this guy to, um, this gun to reload. Anyway, okay, so go ahead and com be comment below with your thoughts and your comments and your thoughts and your comments and your comment below when you comment. And, um... Yeah, so I want to hear what you guys think, which, I mean, now that you've seen the parts that I've got, um, is there anything that you know of that will increase the, I don't know, I've gone through the store, there's not a whole lot, like there's no shields that have Ace exclusive, and there's not a lot of parts that, I mean, have what I'm looking for, you know, for this guy right here. So 
I mean, I've, I'm not, like I said, don't even, don't even suggest, don't even suggest that I get rid of this dude here. <laughs> okay. But I mean, is there another part? I mean, this is a Sokai part though. You know, I mean, how am I going to find something that's better that has the um, tags I'm looking for, you know? So I've got some pretty awesome Sokai's with good tags. I mean, is there another Sokai part that I can? Okay. So it's got to be something that's in the store. Anything you guys know of that would actually make this better than it is, um, that I can work towards. And if it's not worth it, let me know. I mean, tell me, tell me if you guys think it's worth it or not. Um, yeah. So, I mean, maybe there's a different pilot I could be using actually. Let's go ahead and see if there is a shooter pilot. So we'll do a shooter pilot that uses X exclusive long range. Cuatro Bajina is going to be long range. No, no, Cuatro Bajina. Hmm. I mean, would it be worth it? That's my question. Would it be worth it? I don't know. I mean, I could. I could do that. You know, I could do Cuatro, cuatro, cuatro Bajina. And then get rid of this and go into, is it the wing default four or five? It's got to be the wings. Yeah, this one that actually adds it. So, I mean, would this be worth it? Dag Nabbit. I just took away my high firepower, didn't I? Oh, that's right, because Quattro had it. I mean, lock on did. Okay, so yeah, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm, I'm welcome to suggestions. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm like, don't give me suggestions or I'll slap you. <laughs> but this time I'm, I'm open to suggestions. So comment below, hit the like, the subscribe button, and let me know your thoughts. And tomorrow night, don't forget, we're doing the... Um, the EX, EX mission of the this week's new event, and it's I would like it if it's the first time all of you have played it. We're going to do it over Discord, so make sure you join my Discord channel. I've got the link in the comments below, and I will make sure to put my phone next to the speakers, so hopefully we'll be able to hear people. And yeah, that's pretty much for today, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.